वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट मॉड्यूल कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस लुकिंग एट द ट्रेंड इन द लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स अराउंड हायरिंग डेटा साइंटिस्ट इट इज इंक्रीजिंगली बिकमिंग एविडेंट दैट डेटा साइंटिस्ट नॉट ओनली एनालाइज डेटा एंड बिल्ड मॉडल्स बट दे आल्सो प्रोग्राम टू डिप्लॉय द एल्गोरिथम्स एट स्केल डेटा इंजीनियरिंग इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ अ डेटा साइंटिस्ट डे टू डे लाइफ एज अ डेटा साइंटिस्ट टूडे एवरी इज लुकिंग फॉर मशीन लर्निंग एक्सपर्टीज विच इन्वॉल्व ए फेयर बिट ऑफ कोडिंग द टाइप ऑफ कोडिंग क्वेश्चन यू वुड बी आस्ड totally depends on the job description so always read through the job description carefully to get an idea around that you can straight away ask before the interview as well about the programming language in order to brush up your skills in this module i would be walking you through some of the most popular types of interview questions in this video we would be looking at different types of coding questions asked in a data science interview and why are these questions asked The first set of questions are about the fundamentals of the coding language. The coding language might be R, Python, SQL, Julia. It totally depends on the job description. Here, the interviewer wants to understand if you know the fundamentals of the language or just copy pasting the codes you find on the internet. It will give him confidence if you would be able to handle big and complex projects and would be able to optimize the codes. The next set of questions are about solving puzzles and small case studies using the programming language. The interviewer provides a problem and wants to see how you get to the solution. Problem solving ability is also a test here. The next set of questions are about data analysis and visualizations. The interviewer wants to understand if you would be able to do quick analysis on the data set and get the EDA done using data visualization libraries. The next set of questions are about building the ML model. The interviewer will provide you with the data set and problem statement. He will ask you to solve the project using machine learning and build machine learning model around it as the final job of a data scientist is to build and deploy the machine learning models he wants to understand how familiar are you with ml libraries these are the key types of coding questions you might expect different type of coding questions based on the job profile in this video we would be looking at how to solve a coding question The first step is to make sure that you fully understand the problem they are asking. Work through any example inputs if provided. The next step is to figure out a brute force solution to the problem. No coding is required at this point. The next step is to optimize your solution. Take some time to figure out the absolute best solution you can in this period of time. When comparing solutions, consider the time complexities. The next step is code up your solution. Even if it's not optimal, It's better to have a complete non-optimal solution than an incomplete optimal solution. The next step is test your code and fix any issue. This is incredibly important. It doesn't matter if your code isn't perfect the first time, but you had better be able to identify the errors. The approach which the interviewer takes to find a solution to the problem is as important as the solution itself. Hence, directly jumping to the final solution may not be the best way. In this video we would be looking at tips to solve coding questions. One of the most important keys to success in coding interview is having a strong foundation of computer science fundamentals. So develop a strong foundation. There are different solutions for a single problem. You should consider all the different possible solutions for a problem and present the most optimal one or if time permits present multiple solutions. Always start with a brute force solution. No need to start coding in the first second itself. You should plan out the full solution before you start writing code. Maybe start with a pseudo code rather than having a single function which serves all the purposes. Break the codes into smaller functions with specific purpose. The code should be proper modularized so that it can be reused. Last but not the least, test your code before submission because a correct solution is always better than an optimal solution. With this we come to the end of this module. I hope by now you would be able to solve coding questions. I'll see you with the next module in the coming videos. Let's start with the coding questions. The first question is how can you remove all extra white spaces from column names in a data frame and why is it important? I'll take a pause here see if you can attempt the question. Let's look at the solution now. Here I'm using the life expectancy data the same data set which I use for linear regression. I'm using dot columns function to print the column names. So here if you can see in case of country and year There isn't any extra white space but in case of thinness 5 to 9 years there is a extra white space now we need to remove this extra white space 
So I would be using three functions. The first is strip function. The next is lambda. Another is rename. So strip function is used to remove all the extra white spaces. I'm using the lambda functions to scale it up to all the column names. And I'm using rename function to rename the column names. I need to rename the, all the column names of data frame df. So the code would be df dot rename columns equals to lambda x colon x dot strip. So strip will remove all the extra white spaces from the front as well as from the back. So here I'm again printing the column names. Here you can see in case of thinness 1 to 19 years, the extra space in front of thinness has been removed. Let's look at the second question. The question is get the position of items of series 2 in series 1. Here, the input is two series, ser1 and ser2. So pandas.series function is used to create the series. I will take a pause here, see if you can attempt the question. Let's look at the solution now. In the first cell, I have written the input, that is series 1 and series 2. Then I am presenting two solutions. One is using numpy.where function, another is using pandas index and get location function. The answers are pretty straightforward. I am using list comprehension function along with numpy.where and dot to list function in the solution one and I am using pandas.index and dot get location function in solution two. You can check the answer as well. So the first element of series two is one and what is the location of one in the in the first series? It would be zero, one, two, three, four, five. One is present at the fifth index. In Python, the indexing starts from zero. The first element would be zero, the another would be one, the next would be second. Okay. In case of R, the index starts from 1. The first element would be 1, the second would be 2, third would be 3. Now it's time for a practice exercise. So the question is, get the positions where value of two columns match. The input for this practice problem would be a data frame df. Here I am creating the data frame df using pandas.dataframe function. I am creating two columns, fruit1 and fruit2. Both the columns are having 10 values which are randomly chosen from apple, orange and banana. You need to find the position where the value in both the column names match. Give it a shot. <laughs> 